Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane. This video is part of my underrated game series, and today we're going to be talking about Genesis and Saturn. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another underrated game series with me, Mondane. So, we're going to start off with Soldes on Genesis 1992 with renovation products, I believe, was the was the company that came out with it. And I've kind of talked about this game before. This is the Genesis cartridge version of the Sega CD game called Soul Face. And it's still a good game. It doesn't have the great soundtrack, but it still has like all of the bones there to have a great and wonderful experience. And again, these are just suggestions of if you want to find something new and a little bit not talked about with a Genesis game. So as I said, I've spoken about this game in the past and do I really need to revisit all of that? I don't think so. So on to the next one top gear 2 1994 released on the genesis by vic tokai this is just a bare bones good feeling racing game it is definitely not outrun but there's just something about how this game feels while you're playing it and and the speed that it conveys to you Definitely not as much speed as is conveyed as like the Outrun 20, the, the futuristic Outrun game or anything like that, but it's got something there. And I don't know if this is like basically high end pasta rocket style racing or what, but it just kind of grabbed at me and took me along for the ride. Next up, we have Whip Rush, and boy, talk about a wonderful shmup that is just built with tons and tons of nostalgia. This game was by Renovation Products 1994. And I gotta say, this game is bright, colorful. It is the, the classic shmup style that I absolutely love. And you just you can't get away from that that pumping soundtrack and and just everything coming at you all at the same time. It's just a great and wonderful shmup and I absolutely love playing this game. Now we're going to move on to the Sega Saturn, folks. First up, Golden Axe the Duel, released 1996 by Sega. I really enjoyed the Golden Axe series, and when they came out with the duel, I didn't understand what it was. I just kind of grabbed it because I grabbed it. It was part of a, a lot that this guy was selling, and he didn't want to, like, give out, like, two or three games. He wanted to sell all of his Sega Saturn stuff, and so I bought it, and I started playing it. had some issues with the game because I kept on hooking up the 3D controller to it, and the game would fail and I thought the game was broken until I read online that you can't do that. You actually have to use any controller other than the 3D controller and the game will work just fine. Really kind of an odd thing to happen. But it's a good solid fighter. It's a little bit sluggish, but I think that was done intentionally to to add some realism to the game. I definitely like it. It is a whole heck of a lot better than some of the other sluggish style games where they slow things down intentionally like Weapon Lord. It's definitely plays a whole lot better than that game, but it's got good graphics. I like the magic system in here. I like all the different cast of characters and the combos and stuff like that. And yeah, you, you can pull off some cheesy things, but, I mean, in what fighting game can't you pull off cheese? So, moving on to a Sega Saturn game that was imported. Sengoku Blade, 1996 by Atlas. This is a wonderful shooter. It is 
based in a little bit of mysticism where you know characters have magic powers they're flying around and stuff and they're shooting out fireballs out of their fingertips and they're killing armored demons so it's it's got this like medieval japanese vibe to it with these great soundtrack and the artwork's kind of nice too but it's it's a great shmup it's a classic and it's actually being been re-released uh, i believe more than once and guys just just take a look at it play it for a little while if it's your cup of tea grab it and finally the last game of today's video is virtual on released on the sega saturn 1996 by sega themselves I love this game. The first time I played it was in Disney World in the Sega Genesis, or not Genesis, the, the Sega Arcade that they had there. And it was a lot of fun. I remember the twin sticks and like figuring out how the characters move and stuff very fast. And honestly, I love this game so much that I have a pair of the twin sticks. I have two pairs of the twin sticks for the Sega Saturn, and I have the conversion packs to convert the Sega Saturn sticks up to the Dreamcast as well, so that I can play the Dreamcast version of the game too. This game is an arena-style combat where you are you have your characters that throw grenades, you have your characters that do laser attacks, there's homing attacks, there's melee attacks, there's death from above there's jetting towards someone in a way and doing the dance the circling each other dance of death and stuff and it's just a great and wonderful time i absolutely love this game and at one point in time it was kind of talked about but i think lately it's been forgotten well that's it for this episode of mundane designs i'm your host mundane I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.